vlog for this week but hey y'all it's wednesday um this might be a little mini vlog or whatever i'm currently at the wellness center um because i have to make up a chem exam and in order for me to make up my chem exam um i don't know if y'all remember when i told y'all i was sick um i didn't see anybody so i'm seeing the wellness center now because i still have a slight cough and a little mucus in my chest um so we're gonna get that corrected so i can get some meds get out of my system completely um so i'm at the wellness center i had to take a rapid covid test um in which i they let me administer myself because y'all know i have nose piercing so i can't just shove stuff up my nose um i know i don't have covid i literally weekly test for covid before they lifted the mask mandate yes my school um lifted the mask mandate um which i'm actually happy about because wearing these is a fucking hassle and i always hated forgetting a mask and not being able to go into class and miss more time of class because i don't have this so and i literally just switched from my black mask to match what I had on to this one because this is more breathable and we all know black attracts heat and I'm hot as fuck. But I'm gonna scarf on even though my braids are done because my edges ain't done and I didn't feel like doing them because it's fucking pouring. Um, but she said as long as my test, my test takes 10 minutes to like show if I'm positive or negative. I know I'm fucking negative. So um, once that's, you know, once the result comes back, I'll be able to get seen by the doctor and get some meds so i have a lot of tea to tell y'all about um i gotta edit my atl vlog but by the time y'all see this that'll be up um spring break is this week um i got two brand deals i got a um post promo for taylor brands and sheen so the girl's pretty much been busy since she got back i've just really been taking time to myself to just relax and stuff but here she comes so i'll see you Hey y'all, today is Thursday. So, I know I was rambling a lot yesterday. I really didn't even wanna vlog this week cause I just wanted to take time off because I have an Atlanta vlog to show y'all. Um, amongst other content. <sighs> Girl, chat is, anyways. So, I got um, seen at the wellness center like I told y'all yesterday. Um, remember when I told y'all I was sick? I know I said this already, but basically they prescribed me meds. Um, I had to take it for five days, um, which means no smoking, no weed, no hookah, no nothing. And, you know, I was confident because I told them that I smoked weed. Now, I didn't tell them how much weed I smoked because I didn't want to seem like I'm a crackhead. But I also had put on Facebook yesterday, like, we grown as hell now. Stop lying to your doctors, telling them that you, telling them that you don't drink or smoke because what are we lying to them for? Like, I understand our parents were instilling us because, you know, they they didn't want to, you know, if our parents knew we were smoking and drinking at the ages y'all were smoking and drinking, they probably would have whooped y'all ass. But I say that to say this, we're grown now, right? And I'm on a, you know, self-care journey of just being fully transparent in every aspect of my life. And you never know, you telling your doctor and being honest, even though I did lie, which I'm not going to lie, the next time I'm asked, I'm going to tell the complete truth. Um, but me just admitting that I actually do it was just the first step. Um, what the fuck am I trying to say? Um, just fucking do it, bro. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, um, I just feel like if you're honest about shit like that, it'll also like help them like in regards of whatever you're going through. Cause let's say you're pregnant or you end up finding out you're pregnant and they want to know if you've been smoking or drinking in the past few weeks and you tell them no. And then you take a, a, a piss test and they find all that shit in your system. Like you get what I'm saying? Like there's no, there's no way to get out of that. You get what I'm saying? So just be honest, just tell the truth, be transparent. It ain't shit to be scared of. Um, somebody had made a point that um, they were, they weren't telling the truth because they feel like they could report it back to the insurance and make um, their visits higher. No, 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 no. Look at it as a health perspective. You telling your doctors that you smoke a drink can really save your life depending on what you're going to them for. And, you know, you never know. You could be sick. And that could be one of the reasons why. You know what I'm saying? So, let's that on that. Um, I'm getting some weed today. I've been sober since... Saturday. I know this weed don't got nothing on Atlanta weed. Actually, I'm lying. My plug, he, he got some good weed. But, um, um, I'm finished smoke. Um, but yeah, I'm just so ready for spring break. Today's Thursday. I did have two classes, but my psych teacher was a sweetheart and canceled psych today. So I only have class from 
2 to 3.15 and I'm coming home. And your girl got a hell of work to make up. Um, I actually have a lot of work to make up for her class. Excuse me. So I'm just going to be doing that. And then um, the next two days, if I can get caught up with my psych work, because um, I still need to upload the ATL vlog. Once I get caught up on my psych class, um, I can focus on my chemistry and chem lab because they basically go hand in hand and I want to do them at the same time, back to back. Granted, it's going to be a lot of work, but listen, it has to be done. I need to see where I'm at and your girl got to pass with at least a C um, to keep this, you know, school-ish going. And I need to submit my FAFSA, which I'm going to do when I go home on Friday with my mom because the only reason why I didn't submit it back in October when I originally planned when it first opened was because for some reason it wouldn't allow me to add my mom's tax information like it was being weird so I have to go call them actually and fix that so um all that shit can just get uploaded um electronically instead of you know by hand as far as y'all needs Dior is concerned and if you're new here um Dior is my dog um, I know y'all probably are like, bitch, how the fuck you have a dog and you're never with her? Well, first things first, since you're in my business. No, I'm just playing. Um, I actually attempted to submit in paperwork to get um, Yanni's Dior on campus with me, but unfortunately she cannot be on campus with me this semester. Um, she's going to have to come with me in the fall um, because she's not six months. <sighs> my baby is um three months she's about to turn <gasps> my baby's about to be four months okay i have to do something for her i have to do something for her because she's about to be four months old um which is crazy because i literally just got her right before she turned three months and she's about to be four months which i'm excited about um and i didn't even realize and i would have felt so bad for missing that um and I'm, thank god i'll be home for that too so and that's actually on monday um but your girl yeah she cannot um, so as of right now, that's just on standby. I'll just have to see her every other weekend or every weekend, depending on, you know, what's going on, um, with me here on campus. Cause I am still a college student. Um, I'm a mother, but I'm also a college student too. So I'm doing really well with, you know, balancing both. Dior knows who I am. She's familiar with who her owner is, who's the HBIC, because my mom really tried it. Her and my grandma, more so my mom, like, to see how they interact with Dior is crazy. Like, I really could have popped out with a baby. And I, prob I promise y'all I wouldn't have no baby. I wouldn't have no baby. My mom would have the baby. Because she's just so obsessed with Dior. As if, like, Dior is an actual child. She's a child. She's a baby. But, like, y'all get what I'm saying. So, that's on pause, unfortunately. And I hate that. But I'm still make sure that I still see my baby. I FaceTime her. I FaceTime my mom often. My mom always FaceTimes me so I can see her. Shit like that. Um, and like I said, we're about to go on spring break. Um, what else did I need to tell y'all? I don't think there was anything else that I needed to tell y'all for real, for real. I'm gonna look through the footage to see what the fuck I was rambling about yesterday. So, you know, I can figure that out. But as of right now, your girl, obviously I'm fresh out the shower. I'm about to go do my face routine and I'm going to pack up my shit and get the hell out of here. So... Um, I can go be a scholar and eat before class because your girl's hungry. I'm hungry and I, I love, you know, eating before class so I can stay focused. And my notes are done for sociology so I can actually follow along and just strictly engage. Y'all know that's my favorite class. So I'll see y'all um, later. Hey y'all. Yes, I'm yelling at Chinese. I know it's been a while since I last looked up the camera. Listen, we're not gonna talk about that right now. I will get into that later on. Uh, Mommy, Dior, come here. She's so bad. She's truly acting like a canine now. But um, your girl, y'all home girl, y'all niece, Dior, she has a grooming appointment today because my baby needs her face cut. <laughs> She needs her face trimmed because she cannot see. Um, she's getting a, a bath, a deep condition, a shampoo deep condition. She's getting her nails cut because they're horrible. She's cutting the girls up. I'll insert a picture of how she tore my hand up the other day. They said, be a dog mom. They said, it would be easy, they said, no. Um, she turned four months on Sunday. 
Um, and I think I told y'all that she can't come with me on campus um, this semester until the fall, which is fine. Um, I'll be a little bit more prepared and yeah. Um, but today is when to, is it Tuesday? I don't know what fucking day it is, honestly. But um, yeah, so your girl, update with me, your girl has dropped chemistry. Just, I, I don't know why I'm still a bio major, honestly. Like I'm trying to get into pre-nursing or pre-health and it's not fucking working. And like, I don't know why motherfuckers are not responding to emails. I don't know what that's about. So, um, so the quicker we can get that figured out, the quicker we can realize that I don't need to fucking take biology or chemistry. So, um, now I only have school three days a week, which gives me my Mondays and Fridays free, which I love because now I have an extended weekend and the girl has an extended weekend. So I definitely can work with my schedule being like this for the next two months. I definitely feel like I can finish off strong, really get some good grades, really leave a good mark um, and really have a nice GPA um, for this um, upcoming, well, the ending of this semester, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, Dior has a, um, groomer's appointment, which I'm excited about. It's her first appointment. So I am going to vlog the experience for you guys. I am nervous because I'm going alone. Nobody's going with me, which is fine. I mean, nobody would be going with me if I didn't live in Jersey still. So, I mean, I guess it's something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, so I'm going to drop her off there and then I need to go to Walmart and look at bed sheets because... I don't know what the fuck happened to my sheet like i know i was going through a lot of trauma and i smoked a lot since you know i transitioned from moving stuff out this room into my apartment but it's just a lot of shit that's missing that's not adding up and i don't i'm not understanding what's, what's going on so yeah i need to go to walmart and get some sheets because why the fuck don't i have a sheet um also these braids they're getting taken down getting taken down I can't do it like the edges it's really just the edges that I can't do and I know you can get them braided back but the thing about me and my edges not my edges my forehead is big as hell I don't know if y'all could tell I have a 10 head so edges do your girl's forehead justice without it I don't fucking know what we would be doing honestly um so yeah I'm gonna grab some lunch while I'm out there too um and like I said I'm coming back here um i probably won't take my hair out when i come back i mean i'll show y'all what dior looks like before and after um and uh i need to actually get my nail so here's an update on my nail so i'll put a better picture of it because it's acting like my my camera's acting like i don't want to focus i'll put a better picture of it somewhere on the screen so what it is i don't know if y'all could tell but y'all see how this pinky this pinky is normal my nail with this one is digging into the skin. So I'm thinking I lost the cuticle or something. No, whole time my nail has overlapped um, the cuticle. What? It, hold on. Mommy, you can't do that. You have to, the ice is supposed to help. Mommy, the ice is supposed to help you. It's supposed to soothe your gums since you're teething. Come here, Dior. I finally got your niece to show her face. Say hi. Say hi, mommy. Can you say hi? Dior, Dior. She always does this and she's hella fake. Mommy, look at the camera, the camera. She smells like dog, I'm not gonna lie. But she's about to go, we're about to go to her appointment. This is what she looks like before she gets her face trimmed. Cause she wants to be on my bed so bad. Be all up in the business. So I just ordered our Uber so we can head the hell out. No mommy, that's your flea color. Yeah, so <laughs> I tried to record her because um, Dior is a canine. She's a canine. Um, so I noticed her, I noticed her canine tendencies. She literally, she zips around. Stop, mommy, stop. 
she zips around the damn room like a, a, a I don't know, like a rabbit. A, Stop. Stop. Look at her. Cutting up. Cutting up. Y'all see this? And yes, I'll do a video on her really soon. When she becomes cooperative, preferably after her appointment today, because my baby needs a bath. And yeah, so <laughs> can you say hi to your uncles and aunts, please? Instead of being a hub rat with no decorum. Don't try to jump off this high ass bed. Yeah, she likes to jump on and off things. I, I Listen, she was very sweet once upon a time. And now... I will see y'all. Just know that y'all niece is blessed and highly favored because I got her this big ass cage from Amazon, not realizing that it was that big, but for $80, it should be big as hell. I cannot wait to deck it out. Let's see what y'all niece thinks about her cage. She hates it low-key already. Mommy, are you ready to get in your cage? Are you ready to get in your cage? I know you don't like it already. You're spoiled. Hi. Hi. You always giving me the hand when you don't want to talk. Yes, I'm talking about you. Hi, Mommy. Hi. Hi. Are you going to say hi to everybody or are you going to be mean? Come up here. Good girl. Say, I act right sometimes. Okay, so I put her in it, and it looks like she doesn't hate it. And that's exactly where you're going to sleep tonight, in this cage. You have too much freedom and are too spoiled. Good girl. Good girl, Mommy. I love this for you. I cannot wait to deck it out. I'm glad you like it because at first, y'all, she was, oh my God, barking at me hella bad. <laughs> hella bad. She was over it. But I'm glad she likes it. And it's pink. Go purr. Mommy got good taste. But I'll check in with y'all later. Um, <laughs> say, you want to say bye? Can you say bye to your aunts and uncles? Can you say bye? Up. Stand up. Good girl. Hey, y'all. Um, I look crazy. I know. Excuse. Listen. I just don't give a fuck right now. That's not why we're here. We're here because today is Tuesday. So, um, I, I just have a lot to just talk to y'all about. Like, honestly... But before we get into all that mess, um, let's just get into my impulsive decisions, okay? So, whenever I'm inconvenienced, <clears throat> whenever I get inconvenienced, um, something doesn't go my way, or I'm depressed, I impulsively buy shit. Now, my impulsiveness isn't bad per se, because it's not like I'm frivolously out here buying shit that I know for a fact that I don't need. There's pants on my wall. Anyways, um, so I've been spoiling myself with some makeup um, because I'm tapping into um, becoming a travel makeup artist. I'm, like I said, it's a lot of shit that y'all just don't know about because I haven't taken the time to really just get my head together and do it, but it's okay because we're no longer not doing that. I have shit on the way. I'm literally busting my ass these next few days to get it out for y'all. But besides that being the point, um, Amazon Prime's my best friend. And I just so happened to see this girl on TikTok. She went ahead, bitch, and bought a heart-shaped hookah. Bitch, y'all know I'm a hookah. Y'all know I'm a whore for hookah, okay? I am the hookah hoe, your favorite hookah hoe, okay? So, I went ahead and decided to buy it because not only was it on sale, 
and not only did it come in different colors because the one that i see on tiktok was in black if i can find a video i'll show y'all and i'll put it somewhere on the screen but i can't find a video as of now because i just tried to look because i'm making a tiktok video obviously so um we're gonna see what it's giving and of course you know i had to stop by the smoke shop to buy me some shisha because bitch where is shisha pass me the I can't no application plan. Um, but not for real. I really need to buy some more because I love Love Six Six, but Auntie is Love Six Six out. I I'm not even gonna see her a lot of you. Oh my god! Look at this. Okay, here's the box. It's giving rich realest richest bitch from the set like hold on bitch and am i the only person that still play with bubble wrap like a little ass kid like i will really pop all this shit right now but not right now because the girl is trying to get to the the package oh my gosh Like, I'm not trying to rip the bubble wrap, but the bubble wrap is going to get ripped in a second. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And it comes in different, it comes in pink. It didn't have pink available on Amazon, which blows my shit. So now I need to go find this for real, because, bitch, why don't you have... <sighs> bitch. Look at it. Oh, bitch. Yeah, uh, y'all gonna see the yeah, yeah, get into yeah, we uh huh, okay, we yeah, I'm gonna like this whole later, and y'all gonna see what that's about because baby, we finna be vibing tonight, respectfully. Like, like I said, I have been going through so much shit. I'll be telling y'all in the last vlog a little bit about it, and then in this vlog, um, I'm just gonna give y'all like a little major life update just give you a list of rundown of stuff that i have been going through and dealing with and what i got planned what's going on um because i'm not being consistent still as i would like to and i'm gonna be on my ass about that because i cannot be crying and whining about being consistent and wanting this this and this if i'm not doing what i need to get to get this this and this so we are holding ourselves accountable we are um holding ourselves accountable i mean that's just really all i can fucking do hold myself accountable keep it fucking pushing and just keep working and just don't stop working so um that is that but is there anything else that i want to show you i don't think so but um my mom is calling me give me one second what's popping y'all it's your girl it's the next day um Excuse me, I have to wash it. And before I even get to what I'm about to say, I just thought it was funny how I had made my TikTok videos like this, like my hair in my natural state like this yesterday. And somebody gonna comment on my video, the time that you took to make this video was the time you could have did something to your hair. Who the fuck do y'all be talking to on Beyonce's internet, bitch? Because it's not me. I know it's not me. So... I don't respond to negativity. I really, really don't. But sometimes I do because I like getting a rise out of people because you're not going to get the last word. I'm going to get the last word and I'm going to block you and you're going to be mad because now you can't say what the fuck you need to say. So now you're going to go make a fake page. You're still going to come on my page and with some BS. And now I'm going to ignore you because my job is done. I got you to do all that extra shit for no reason. So I was like... And the time that you took to comment this comment was the same time you could have put into some content on that raggedy ass page of yours. You got three followers and you follow over 220 people. Sit the fuck down somewhere. You got to humble people. Like, I just don't. The blatant disrespect, I don't tolerate. Any other type of disrespect, I'm really just going to ignore. But the blatant disrespect like that, that was disrespectful as fuck. Bitch, you don't know me. And clearly, are you new here? my tiktokers know you're clearly new here this is not the first time my hair has been in this state of craziness and dry brittleness like i've gotten on camera with a busted wig fucked up part edges just looking edgeless like i don't give a fuck
that's a part of me that's a part of who i am and y'all love me for that like i can't imagine dolling up getting every dolling myself up every time i get on camera that is the mindset that I had when I first started YouTube and I felt like I had to constantly be presentable, be cute, have my hair pulled up back and just shoo whoop like, no, y'all, this is the raw uncut. I've only been up for like two, three hours now. Um, but I wanted to just tell y'all what happened in Atlanta so we can end this vlog here um, because in the next vlog, and if you see me wearing this shirt, mind your business, because I'm literally filming it after this one. Um, I'm spilling all tea about what's going on, what projects I got going on. Um, it's just pretty much how my life has changed. And I kind of just want to dead this right now because it's, it's a long overdue. So basically, pretty much what happened in Atlanta, because this is why y'all are here. Um, I, it was supposed to be a girl's trip. My ATL trip was supposed to be a girl's trip and it literally turned into a solo trip within 24 to 48 hours of, you know, me going to Atlanta. Go to Atlanta solo dolo by myself. I'm ready to go to the Pain of Champagne event. I'm ready to just have fun. Like, I've been in school for months. I just overcame depression. Um, I didn't really get a chance to celebrate my birthday. So this trip was kind of to, like, also celebrate my birthday in a way. Um, but I didn't really get a chance to do that either. Um... So I touched down in ATL or whatever. Um, and to make a long story short, I had a mental breakdown. I had a mental breakdown. Um, well, first, back, let's rewind. When I touched down in Atlanta, I was excited. Like, I was super, super excited. Um, but wait, I first of all, I woke up coming into Atlanta. Let's start there. Let's start from the very, very beginning. Let's back it up. I started. Um, I started. I <laughs> I was on the plane. Coming into Atlanta, girl, why the fuck did my AirPod fall out of my ear and under a seat somewhere? And at this point, I'm like, this flight is packed. I'm not about to sit here and wait to get some measly ass AirPod when I'm ready to go get my luggage, go to my hotel room, just go to sleep. Mind you, I had a 6 a.m. flight and I was on time and I got to ATL a little bit early. I was supposed to get there by like, I believe they said 8.30, but we got there by like 8.10. So, um, get there. And I was just overwhelmed because, you know, I'm trying to make sure that people who are still coming, um, they still come and everything's cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like on go mode. You feel me? I'm rested and I'm just ready to go. I haven't been to Atlanta since May of last year. Um, so, you know, how the Atlanta airport is set up. Atlanta airport is fucking huge. You literally have to take a train from one end of the fucking um, airport to the other. Um, so at this point, I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm going, getting frustrated, finally find the train. So I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So I get on the train and I see some people that I was on my flight with. And obviously we're in the same, you know what I'm saying? We all went to the same place. So maybe we're going to the same, you know, part of the airport. I tried following them, but this girl, she, um, actually, no, that was on my way home. I'll tell y'all that in a minute. Um, so I get on the, you know, the train or whatever, and I keep starting to run into circles at this point. So I was supposed to get, no, I was supposed to go all the way down, like on the plane, on the, the plane, the train, I was supposed to go all the way down to, um, on the train to get to baggage claim. My ass kept getting off at the gate that said it on my ticket. So I keep running back in circles trying to get on the um the train and find out where the fuck I'm going and where the baggage is and all that shit. I'm asking people like um the the workers, the employees, no one's helping me. This white lady literally tried to explain what the fuck I need to do, pissed me off because bitch you didn't answer what the fuck I was talking about. So now I'm frustrated. So and my job, I'm still vlogging, like I'm frustrated and vlogging at the same time. So um like I said, I got to the airport at like. 8 10 i left the airport at like 9 almost 10 o'clock 9 almost 10 o'clock because i could not i just i don't know and like that's not the first time i've been to atlanta so you would think that i would know but i guess because i hadn't been there in some months i just needed a refresher and i just could not take the opportunity to just relax i was by myself i wasn't expecting to come by myself so and and traveling by myself is not a problem. I don't have an issue with that. 
but it was just very, very overwhelming for me at that time. Um, and I know when I get angry, I keep doing shit while I'm angry and it makes me angrier because I can't calm down. So I finally, you know, go all the way down like I'm supposed to make it to baggage claim. But luckily, my bags are still there. But now I'm getting pissed off because my bags where I thought they would be, they're not there because I'm 20 minutes late getting my bags. So now I have to go on the opposite side of the airport to get my shit. Luckily, somebody was there um, to help me out and figure out where I need to get my shit because that's all I wanted was my shit so I can go. So the Uber situation, I had to Uber from the airport, of course, to my hotel. Not a problem. The problem was Atlanta is fucking huge. So I'm literally struggling trying to figure out, well, wait a minute. Okay, I got my bags. How the fuck do I get an Uber out here? So instinctively, when you see baggage claim, and if you've been to Atlanta airport, you know what I'm talking about. Instinctively, you want to go outside because that's where you think the Ubers are. No, that is literally where people get dropped off at, I assume. Um, and they have their own Uber transportation area. And I guess they changed it because last time I took an Uber, um, I didn't have to do all of all that I did. So go downstairs like the lady told me. Um, I go to the area where everybody's trying to get picked up. It's a group of families out there. And that's what kind of made me sad. Like to see a group of, you know, like a big black family on vacation together. Um, like cousins, aunts, uncles, like I, I miss that family oriented shit in my life. And I know that when I have kids, they're going to be sick of me because I, that's all I'm going to implement in our lives. Like I miss you know, being around my family and just being around people that I love. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've been solo for a minute now. Like, you get what I'm saying? I haven't seen anybody. I haven't gone out. I haven't done nothing but school and, you know, TikTok and YouTube and, you know, my job. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, that kind of upset me a little bit because it was just like, damn, like, and then I had seen some girls with their friends and it was hella excited. And I'm like, damn, like, well, where are my friends at? Where are my people at? And granted, I understand the reasons that they um, had for, you know, whatever. But still, like, it was just, it was just too much. Too fucking much. So, this lady comes up to me and she's like, can you order your Ubers here? And I'm like, well, I thought you could because I did before and I didn't have a problem. Girl, no. I had to walk across the street through this parking lot, make a left. And it's a whole waiting area for where all the Ubers and stuff come. So luckily my Uber comes. And it was a, it was a lady. She was funny as hell. Um, if y'all seen in the uh, vlog montage um, in the beginning, in the morning we were stuck in traffic. If only y'all could have heard the audio on that clip, bro. I love people in Atlanta. Like their accents are funny as hell. She was talking to her homegirl um, while she was um, driving me, which I didn't mind because I didn't want to talk. And I honestly hate I hate when Uber drivers just talk, 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 talk. And granted, I'm not mean. Get Dior, y'all. Y'all niece is acting the fuck up. And I don't know how because she was asleep. Anyway, she was cutting up. Like, they was cutting up. And I respected the fact that she just left me alone because I really just didn't want to be bothered. It was just too much going on. I was already frustrated and pissed off. I just wanted to relax. And like I said, I really just hate when Uber drivers just talk, 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 talk. I'm not a mean bitch, so I'm going to engage in conversation. But if you see that I got AirPods in, shut the fuck up. And I didn't even want to put my AirPods in because I was missing an AirPod. Because like I said, I had it dropped out of my ear on the plane. And I'm not about to make nobody go look for that. And I'm damn sure not messing up my pink velour sweatsuit to look for some fucking AirPod. Are you shit me? So I make it to the, you know, the hotel or whatever. And <clears throat> I was the one that booked. Okay. So um yeah so like i said you know i was just frustrated in the uber and i respected that the uber driver just respected my privacy and i really didn't mind her conversation with her her home girl was actually pretty entertaining i just didn't say anything because like i said i wasn't in the mood to speak get to my hotel i was the one that booked the hotel reservation for everybody that was supposed to come it was two rooms i canceled one room because um that person could not make it and they told me earlier that week that i was leaving that they weren't going to be able to come so i just canceled it so i wouldn't get charged for it so now i'm left with a room that i'm sharing with someone on the trip and then another person's coming on the trip and she was gonna come and stay there um after the paint of champagne event but she never came so 
um you know when you book um dior anyways when you book um hotel reservations in advance um it's a time limit to where you can cancel those reservations you get what i'm saying so um and when you get in person and you know you book your reservations online they add the taxes and stuff to it so just because online it says you're gonna pay $250 you might end up paying $320 just because that's how it is they add the taxes and all that shit the fees and all that stuff at the desk which didn't bother me um I the total was like 420 it was 420 for the time that we were going to be there so that was like a hundred dollar increase from you know the telly stay originally which I didn't have a problem with but I did need to notify the person that I was staying with in that room, like, this is the new price for the telly, you know, send me your half. So, basically, to make a long story short, um, that person didn't come um, and just basically told me to, you know, book a separate room. The problem is, I it's not that I couldn't book the room or I couldn't pay for it, but now I'm stuck with a room that technically I shouldn't be had like... I'm stuck with a room that I didn't need. You get what I'm saying? Because if that was the case, I would have booked my own stuff on my own by myself for myself. You get what I'm saying? I was just being nice enough to book the room for everybody so we were all together. It was all one band, one sound. I hate being all over the place when it comes to trips. The shit is annoying. Um, So, like, now I go up to the lady at the desk and I'm telling her, like, you know, well, do you have any single rooms available? Because now, you know... The, the the trip is a shit show like it's just me by myself now um and she said that she didn't have any rooms available that weekend for me with what i needed um which is a single bed i had a double bedded room because like i said i was staying with someone else so you know now i have to find a hotel that's gonna be able to accommodate me and at this point i i just break down I, I break down because like I already told y'all in the vlog before the Atlanta vlog, I was already dealing with everybody coming at me crazy, talking to me out the side of their face. And one thing about it, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't do that. Okay. Like I don't, I, I don't, I'm not going to tolerate disrespect. You're not going to talk to me any type of way. And you're not gonna, you're not going to tell me when I need to respond to you. You get what I'm saying? So, um, I just, left it where it was at but it was just so much shit like when i tell y'all i was in that lobby crying my eyes out in the back like i didn't give a fuck about who was around me who could hear me like i was literally just praying to god like god please like this is supposed to be my vacation i should not be sitting here crying and breaking the fuck down because everybody wants to cancel on me last minute and i'm the one that's dealing with last minute charges and fees and all that extra shit and one thing about it though God always got my back. God always got my back. There's always an angel somewhere. And when I mean angels or angel, I mean my great grandparents. Like they're never going to let me or let shit happen to me um, for a period of time and not do nothing about it. They're always going to, you know, come through for your girl. So I was literally just sitting at the table and I'm like, God, please, like I'm hurting. I'm really, really hurting, and this, like I said, this is supposed to be my vacation, and I'm getting a little emotional, Lord, but it was just like, at that moment, it was just like, wow, like, people are really showing me who they are, and I have to believe them, like, you get what I'm saying, like, I've been talking about paying the champagne for months, for months, and one thing about me, I don't shut up about something until I get it. Y'all seeing that I've been hounding y'all and telling y'all I want a dog, I want a dog, I want a dog. I finally got Dior. Like, I, whenever I want something, I'm getting it, respectfully. I don't care how I'm, I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I'm going to get it. So, I was just really hurting and it just, it really just sucked. So, and mind you, it's early in the morning. It's like 11, almost 12 o'clock and I'm crying in Atlanta at my hotel room in the lobby. Dios mio. So, I got myself together. I got myself together and I basically, you know, go up to the desk and I'm like, you know what? Just suck it up and let's let, just figure it out. Just figure it out. Like I even went as far as calling the hotel that I stayed at um, last year um, to see if they had rooms available, but it was the same price, which kind of sucked because like I said, it was a last minute thing. Um, 
So, and I, like I said, I expected to split, you know, my telly, all Ubers, all that, you know, um, throughout the weekend. So granted, I, you know, it wasn't that I didn't have the money, but I had money prepared for my portion of the stay, if that makes sense. So luckily I had access to my funds and I just had to dive into it. Cause I was supposed to go to, I was supposed to go to Miami. I was supposed to go to Atlanta first and then Miami. I really could have fucking stayed home, went to my friend's party, which I still feel bad about because I really, really wanted to go to that. And I hate disappointing people when it comes to their birthday because I don't like being disappointed. I really could have went to Atlanta for a day, which was the day of the Paint of Champagne event and could have been in Miami last week. But because um, I unexpectedly went on a solo trip, you know, your girl had to cough up that bread and just say, fuck Miami for now and just go to Atlanta. You get what I'm saying? So... It was a lot of shit going on with that. So, you know, I go up to the desk and I tell the lady what happened. I tell her my story. And, you know, I just told the girl, like, don't plan trips with your friends. Bottom line, point blank, period. Like, and this is, I'm telling y'all, don't plan no trips with y'all friends. If you plan the trip, make sure you plan out everything for yourself. Do not look out for nobody. Don't offer to do shit. Look out for you. Period. Bottom line. Just, just look out for yourself. So, you know, when I told the lady what happened or whatever, luckily they were able to find a room. And I was like, she just said that she couldn't find a room. How is this like, God, are you really hearing me? And that's what also made me more emotional because I wasn't expecting her to end up having an opening for me. Um, like, I really just wanted to lay down. I just wanted to go to sleep. So, you know, she tells me my new total. I pay for the room. I get my key and now I'm excited because now I have a place to lay my head this whole weekend while I'm here. And another thing too, like if we're traveling out of state together, we have no choice but to be one band, one sound. I'm not an Atlanta native. I'm not from here. Granted, I've been here three times now, but I still like to act like, an act, I still like to act accordingly. You get what I'm saying? I'm from New Jersey. Atlanta is big as hell compared to New Jersey, especially the part of Jersey where I'm from, which is small as hell. So it was just like, damn, like, I just felt like everybody was bailing out on me. Nobody was giving me grace. Nobody was giving me time. Nobody was respecting me. So whatever. Um, so what ended up happening was, and, I, and this is where I feel like my great grandparents came in. Um, they basically the lady told me that, you know, well, you got my discount for the weekend. If anybody asks, you're my relative. Um, you'll be staying in this such and such suite uh, for the weekend. Um, I was able to get the suite for the same amount of days that I was going to be there too, which also calmed my anxiety down because I thought that I was going to have to stay in the hotel for like two nights and then stay two nights excuse me, somewhere else, which would have just been too fucking much. And I would have, I would have went home. Like when I was at the airport, I was already ready to fucking go home. Like I swear to God, I, before I even contemplated even leaving that airport, I literally was like, bro, I will really buy a ticket right now and go the fuck home. I don't care if it's $300, $400, I'm going home. Like I did not want to stay in Atlanta. Like that's how upset I was and distraught because it was just so much building up towards the trip and during the trip. So I thanked her for that because you didn't have to do that. Like I ended up getting the room at a cheaper rate. I got it 50% off cheaper actually um, per night, which was, which is why my new total that I paid for was a lot cheaper. And I just, I just thanked her like, I, I, oh my God. And it was just like, wow, like God really works in mysterious ways. And what if I didn't calm down? And what if I was impatient and went and spent my money somewhere else? And this lady was about to bless me with her discount. I would have been salty as fuck. So, you know, I was just, I, I once I got to my hotel room, I was literally just on the ground, like thanking God, like crying my eyes out because I just couldn't believe what the fuck was going on. Like it was complete nuts. All right, y'all, I'm back. Y'all niece was cutting the hell up and I had to get her together. <laughs> so as I was saying, you know, um, I finally got into my hotel room um, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I literally took my clothes off and went to sleep. I took my clothes off, hopped in that big ass bed and went to sleep. I just, all that crying and just 
everything it was so when i bro when i tell you like it was so overwhelming and like i said i had got there by like 11 12. i didn't wake up until like five o'clock like that's how drained and mentally tired i was like it was it was so bad um and honestly that whole weekend like i didn't really do much i'm not even gonna say here a lot of you like my mood was ruined and you know me balancing school because i still had to uh, do school work while i was there um which was again my fault for procrastinating and when honestly i could have just dropped those classes that i had to make up work in to make my life easier and that's exactly what i did and y'all will find out more about that in the life update um but yeah i just i was so like mentally tired and drained like i just didn't I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to relax in my bed and just not do shit. You know what I'm saying? And that sounds crazy. Like, nah, why the fuck did you go to Atlanta just to be in a hotel room the majority of your weekend and not do shit? Listen, sometimes you need a break. And whether that's a break from people, whether that's a break from your city. Listen, I'm all for getting hotel rooms in different states and towns and shit to clear your head. Because that's really what it was like. Um... I, it, well, I didn't stay in my hotel room like all the whole the whole whole time my friend uh see she did um and if girl if you're watching this hey boo um my good sis she picked me up you know my girl and like I said like if y'all remember from our very very first Atlanta vlog which I linked somewhere here um C was just a subscriber of mine it's like I had no idea we would become really really good friends so every time I come down to Atlanta it's always a good time um I met her you know her little boot thing purr and you know we went you know out and it just felt good we went to Tiki Tango as y'all seen um the vibes were just lit and you know I had a little liquor in my system so I was feeling good like it was it was a great way to mellow out that first day and night um which i really really fucking needed um i did go to walmart twice um and other than that i really just did in my room like i was just you know making content you know doing homework and really just figuring out where the fuck i was gonna go after this because i knew that once i came home i needed to make some fucking changes some major drastic changes excuse me that i know motherfuckers ain't gonna like but at this point i don't give a fuck I, I, I'm putting me first and one thing that I'm learning on my, you know, my self-care journey and just self-love, like nobody has you like you have you, literally. Like, I feel like I say this all the time, but it's true. Like, nobody's going to have Nyjah's back how Nyjah has her back. You get what I'm saying? Um, I definitely overextend myself in people's lives. That's done. Um, I give people way too many chances. Um that's done like you really have one time you have one time to do something i don't like i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna address it i'm just gonna exit out your life why am i gonna go ahead and waste my breath and time on speaking on something when it's like you know better you get what i'm saying you've been around me long enough to know like that's that's not gonna fly so um the paint and champagne event just really really like it turned the whole trip into better than what it was. Like when I tell you Pain of Champagne was more than just an event for me, like it really put and shifted shit in my life for into perspective and changed my life, honestly. Like my life hasn't been the same um, since I left Pain of Champagne. Like, and that's me humbly and positively speaking. Like my life has literally changed in the past three weeks since Painted Champagne. And, you know, I was so blessed and lucky to be in the same room as Glamis Ante and Lily Yours Truly and Sididi Des. And the fact that, De not Des, <laughs> um, Glamis Ante thought I was worthy of being on her panel at her event. Don't say nothing else to me. Because I promise you that the next Painted Champagne event, I'm going to be on that panel. Respectfully, I'm going to be on that panel. And... I, I just, I don't know, like, I was on such a high after the event. Like, I was so emotional because everything that they were talking about was just so spot on with what I had already was dealing with. And it just, it just made me cry. Like, I'm very, I'm not sensitive. Um, but when it comes to, like, spirituality and, like, you know, 
the stuff that was talked about, I, I'm very sensitive to. So like, you know, it just, everything that I was dealing with at that moment correlated in the pain of champagne event. And I literally came home to turn my pain as champagne. And that's literally my, I feel like that's my motto now. Like that's, that's a life, what's the word I'm looking for? Like that's, that's some real shit. Literally turn your pain into champagne. Because why you're sitting here, you know, being in pain, everybody else that has caused you pain is moving on. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't fuck with you like that. They, If they really fuck with you like that, they wouldn't have done what they did to you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I just been working. Like, I, I literally feel like I went ghost and just been working. I, I have so much. Like I said, I have so much shit that I have to tell you all about in the next vlog. But, like, yeah, that was pretty much my Atlanta trip. Um, if you haven't watched that vlog, I suggest you watch it because the girlies was you know, show me mad love. That's the first time I really feel like I put my all into that vlog. Like I knew how I wanted it. And I feel like there were some minor tweaks that I needed to make, but overall, like the vlog was a vibe. I haven't personally watched it since, um, I edited the video myself. <laughs> Excuse me. But like, I put my foot in that vlog and editing that for y'all. Like that was over an hour worth of footage and I managed to get it down in like 58 minutes <laughs> so still an hour but you know I managed to get it under the hour okay um but yeah that's the end of this vlog um I hope you guys enjoyed watching this y'all know I'm going to be transparent and real about everything every time sorry it took so long for me to come out with it it was just like I'm not gonna lie my feelings was hurt because I just feel like I just kept getting let down and shit just kept happening and nothing was going right and I was just fed the fuck up. So, you know, the next time I go to Atlanta, I'll do a lot more vlogging. I know I didn't vlog that much, um, but like I said, it was a lot going on and I'm really, really learning how to separate or take time to, you know, be in pain and be upset and then just going. I feel like I spend too much time sometimes um, being in pain when I could turn my pain into champagne. You get what I'm saying? So it's not the end for me. You get what I'm saying? Um, it just is what the fuck it is. Like I, oh, well, it is what it is, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's what happened, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching to this video. If you haven't subscribed to me already, girl, what are you doing? You need to be a part of the game because why not like you don't want to be gang I, who don't want to be gang like come on come you feel what i'm saying but i'll see y'all in the next video